Okay. First thing I'm picking up is a um, like a lot of noise, a lot of workers, a lot of people running around. So um, I'm feeling that the space, this is I feel before this was here, that um, there was either a market or something, a vegetables or fruits or something. There's just lots of people, lots of tradespeople running around is what I'm feeling. I'm hearing a lot of noise. It reminds me of. Um, I'm originally from England, as you can hear, a lot of the markets, the, the old East End markets, I'm hearing a lot of people screaming at each other. So um, I'm feeling a lot of hustle and bustle. Um, but I'm hearing a lot of people and they're dressed in very old clothing, very raggedy clothing. Um, Um, what, I, what I'm getting and what I'm picking up is a little bit more stationary from Marion, although I'm not totally there yet. It's kind of interesting because I feel like, and what I'm getting now is a little bit different, but I'm almost feeling like there was a couple of different things. But somebody here also, I don't know if at one time there's someone with a car. I don't know if somebody actually brought a car into the, the building, but I'm feeling like there's a car, like an older car that's in the building. And I'm not saying that's how it's primarily that spent their time, but there's a very nice car that's coming into the building. So I don't know if somebody literally like would would maybe the owner of the building literally brought their car into the building, but it's a nice, nicer car and it feels open. And it feels like the time period feels like maybe before the 1950s, so maybe like the 20s, 30s, 40s sometime there. And it feels like it just feels like leather seats open kind of long. So it doesn't feel like it's like modern cars are closed, it feels more open. I was also feeling, with regard to it when I was tuning up, I was feeling that there was a lot of pallets and boxes, and I was seeing like the packing material was cotton and there was oil, so it was like something that was taken out also that had some sort of solvent around it and oil. That's what I was feeling with regard to that. And I was also feeling that Things were hoisted up and, and, and moved. So some of the stuff that was in here was very heavy stuff. And again, that may not be everything, but it feels like some of it was very heavy and they had to use cranes or lifting, lifting devices to move it. I'm just coming back to, I'm sorry, did I? It's no, that's okay. okay. I'm just coming back to just the tail end of what I was picking up before and I feel that these people who are here were um, inter well, part of the contingent that was building the bridge just down the street. Feels there's a, there's a feeling there of construction or um, people selling fruits and vegetables, these are family people and there, there was a lot of, um, feels like there was a lot of labour in the environment and it was all to do with building the bridge. So I don't know the year of the bridge but the feeling I'm getting from the clothing, it was turn of the century, maybe up to 1920s, that kind of time period. Um, but I'm seeing the bridge being built and um, and the tradespeople, and and I'm definitely seeing fruits and vegetables, and a lot of male male energy, lots of male energy, more than female. Although some of the women are um, milling around, looking after some of the um, the stalls where the fruits and vegetables are. I'm feeling also within that, although I'm getting a little bit of different stuff, I'm feeling that this, this space was very active. And I feel like, so over here I'm feeling like socially it was okay, it was very active over here. 
and what I'm seeing also is like a record player playing, and I was seeing some people eating and some men gathering. So I feel like there was also, in addition to the work, there was a little bit of social, there was some social things that went on here too. So again, not parties, but social. So I felt feel like the atmosphere, at least up here, in this part of the building, was was a nice, it was, it's a nice, it's giving me a nicer feeling up here. So I feel like, you know, whoever owned it, owned the building up here with the people that he brought in or the business people he brought in, they would come in and they may spend some time or maybe some of the workers would come up and they have lunch or something here. So I felt like there was some aspect of it that was also a little social and friendly, at least on this part. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I'm, fe I'm hearing, um young boys, young men, um, and I'm seeing them in flat caps that so might give a better idea for the time period, but they're shouting and I believe they're selling newspapers, so that might give a better idea for the time period. I feel that you're right, it's, it's more towards the turn of the century, yeah. a little bit up. Yeah, like, a little I, bit like up. 1918, 1920, right. maybe even that's a little late. Um, I don't know my American history maybe as much as I should. Um, but I'm hearing these, these young guys and seeing them with newspapers and um, wearing these flapped caps, trying to sell newspapers and shouting above the, the noise of everything else. Really, it feels like a fruit and vegetable market. It really does. Um, and all the smells, the, the smell of fish. There's fish there as well, and and um, meat. All the different smells are coming in. Um, I'd like to move a little bit further down if we can. I'm also picking up the name of a lady. I'm picking up the name Emily. So. Um, I'm feeling that um, this lady um, was the wife of um, one of the construction workers or somebody who was um, working on the bridge. Um, and I feel that somebody was killed. I feel that, that her husband was killed while the bridge was being constructed and um, that she is the spirit of her is still around this area so i'm feeling you may already be aware of some some little things going on in this building that have carried over from previous times i'm getting the name emily um and i'm seeing this lady as like medium height with dark hair and back in a, a bun and i don't feel they have any children but you may already be aware of some things going on in this building because it feels as if she keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. She's looking for her husband. I feel that there was a collapse or something in the bridge and several people were caught under a construction accident and they were looking for, um, they were looking for um, survivors and she's really distraught looking for her husband and I just feel that he didn't survive and she just was very grief stricken but I feel that she keeps coming back I'm hearing her and feeling her so I do feel that there are things going on in this little things like lights being played around with that kind of thing um, I'd like to if Deborah's okay with this just move forward okay, sure. I'd like to say something too. I'm going to corroborate with what you were saying about somebody dying because I'm seeing the heart and I'm seeing a doctor's visit. Mm -hmm. So I feel that maybe somebody was brought here and they had they brought, actually brought the doctors here. And I was seeing some 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 things like that. I was seeing a stethoscope, mouth stuff. I was seeing a doctor that was coming here. So I feel like some people were they actually had doctors that came here to visit and inspect and. The other thing that I feel also too was there were certain things that they were working with that they had to use special gloves with. 
So I do feel that we might be also like flipping back into different time periods, but I did see more like metal fitted pieces and things like that. And I feel like there was some of the things had to be inspected with, or, and handled with, with special gloves. Yeah, I do believe we get what, what is part of us. So I'm getting the this time period because of because it's in some ways so so British, although it's obviously not. And that's why I'm getting this, and um, with all the um, the fruits and vegetables in the market. Um, okay, can we, can we move forward a little bit? Now I'm smelling solvents, some kind of solvent or grease or... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm seeing grease. Oh, you are? I'm smelling it. <laughs> I'm seeing it. Um, okay, so I'm smelling the solvents or, and grease and um, I'm seeing a horse and cart, a buggy, and um, I am seeing the wheels of, of a horse and cart stuck in mud. And I don't know how greases or solvents are going to be used as far as pulling this, maybe on the cart itself. To I feel the wheel got shot in some way. And that's where the greases or the solvents are. But I'm seeing a lot of mud. I feel that the um, there's, there's mud and there's a lot of rain and that the mud's quite deep and the cart and the horse and buggy got caught in the mud. So that's where the grease and the solvents coming in to attach the wheel. that they had a very big fan so I feel like they took took care to put fans up there but there was one fan that was like huge and I felt it was sort of in in that area a little bit further up and then they were showing me with fans so there was something about the fans and the ventilation that's also I feel were important I'm seeing more of these horses and buggies and um, ladies being driven through in carriages. I feel that um, there's an area close to here that was quite um, affluent um, around the same time period, around the early part of the century. And there's an affluent part where people are driving these people through in buggies. And the housekeepers came here to, to pick up the fruits and vegetables. So I'm seeing these ladies in these carts, just not stopping, just going through. Uh, there's an affluent part, and I don't know where it was, but I don't feel it was too far from here. The big houses or, um, yeah, big houses, brick houses. There's something around here that's, you know, I'm getting a very English feel, so there's something that's very modelled on a European, from a European standpoint. The affluent area looks almost as if it could be in the centre of London, but it's not. So it's, it's kind of like Forest Hills Gardens, it looks very British. So this area that was close to here looks very British or very European too. There's a very genteel feel. About it. I'm going to I'm going to go back, um, sort of in line with what she was saying. And again, I don't know if I'm just getting stuff about the owners, but I feel like there was someone who was involved in this space that had a plane, a personal plane. So I'm feeling the personal plane. So I feel that somebody who owned the factory or was in or in this space had a plane, and that was significant. And to me, again, it feels like it feels like it's before 
it feels like it's before World War I or around that time period. So that's what I'm feeling with regard to that. And I do feel that whoever owned the factory also brought their children in here. So again, for whatever reason, I'm getting more of the, the social aspect, but I'm feeling that's about this, this area. Downstairs? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs here. Um, let's see. One more thing. I also feel with regard to here that there was a lot of a lot of shelving. So I feel like there was shelving that went out. And I'm seeing sort of like wooden shelving that went out in like many, many layers. That's what I'm getting. Okay, stairs are very steep. Okay. I'm also seeing a lot of shoveling, so I don't know if the shovel, there's a lot of shoveling, so I'm saying that feeling that there's a lot of construction or the shoveling of, no, shoveling of hot, hot, hot stuff, shoveling of hot stuff, shoveling, I don't know if they're shoveling coal or hot stuff. There was something that they did and they used a lot of shovels. There was a lot of shoveling. That's what I'm seeing, shoveling. Um, yes, just kind of jumping on from what Deborah's just said. I'm feeling at some point there may have been some underground tunnels or um, something dug very deep. Maybe it's just the, the roots of what's here now, but I'm feeling very much underground and going further under and um, that at some point there were some tunnels underground tunnels or something along those lines because I'm seeing people going right underground and it's not mining but it's that kind of thing where they're right under so um, I would at some point check out the tunnels just maybe something to do with the bridge still as well the other thing that they're telling me is that the land that this this was built on was an Indian land so it was this is an Indian this was one time owned by the Indians before it was purchased. So this was an Indian area, Native American, that's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing and seeing. I'm wondering at some point where the people were kept down, mm -hmm. um, in cellars or underground in some way. Not like a jail, but... Um, I saw cots, so I believe that people okay. slept over. Okay, yeah. sleep, okay. Like small, small cots. Okay. But there's a feeling, definitely, feeling of uh, feeling very constricted. I'm seeing like little lights, or not lamps, but um, little candles. Um, so there's a feeling of restriction here, or not wanting to be the underground for long periods of time. Okay, can we move? Are you ready? I think so. I'm just going to see if there's any. Well, I'll move in and then if we come back, I'll see if we can anything else. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move down here if we can. It feels very musty here, not just the smell, but it feels very musty and uh, very oppressive and depressive here. I went to ground for those very long periods of time. These were very low paid workers, very low paid. who had no choice but to be here for long periods of time. Uh, two things. In here, also again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing pallets upstairs, I'm seeing pallets again over here. So it could be again with the change of ownership. I was also seeing large bins, and they were, the large bins were the type of bins that were metal on top and fabric. 
and then I felt like there was not pieces, but I felt like there was lots of material that was up there. So it's almost feeling like it could have been something similar to like sheets that were in there or some, something like sheets, like large things of material, sheets, blankets, but like bins, a very big bin. That's what I'm feeling. And they're showing me, oh, okay. Well, talking about the ventilation, the ventilation's definitely changed. Okay, I'll just move that aside. Let's see what else. Okay, and then they're showing that too with the water, all the water coming down. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, that's cute. Um, it's interesting because they just showed me too at a certain point with regard to here, there was a little, um, somewhere in the building there was like a little, I won't say it's as big as like a, uh, a modern high-rise water tower, but there was some sort of water tower also on the building, so that the building could get more water. I'm smelling sackcloth, and I'm smelling rotting fruits and vegetables, particularly potatoes and carrots, and this is the sackcloth that vegetables are usually put in, large, um, rough-hewn sackcloth, and I'm seeing a lot of mud, and again, a real smell of damp, and um, I'm rotting vegetables. Um, I do feel like, Marion, that there are presences that are here. I'm seeing one man that's here that he seems to be fine. He's just shaving. So I would go back again and say that people definitely slept over here and spent their time here. So he's shaving and he has like a little, a little thing for his, his, you know, his water, but he's got like a blade, and that's what he's doing. Again, a lot of male energy, very masculine energy. Um, I believe there, were f there was some fighting as well, I'm hearing, um, and seeing men fighting, because I believe the stress and the long hours and the conditions were fairly intolerable. And um, I'm feeling, I'm seeing knives, so, um, I saw knives before. I could go with the knives on that. Yeah. It's like, you know, these these guys are just like wild. They're fighting each other. There's a real feeling of oppression and depression. I don't know when these men would even get to take a bath, you know, I'm seeing just like very grubby, dirty. I'm going to go back to the ventilation again, okay, because what I was feeling that it was, it would get very hot. You know, it looks like there's big windows up there, but it feels like there was something going on here where it would get very, very hot. And I feel like the heat was a, a major problem. And so that was something that they had to work with. seeing around this area that there was um it looks like a tram or some a truck or something that looks like a tram i mean it's not the trams in san francisco but it's that tram feel so around this area there's a there's something that's running on um on lines or um, it's a tram feeling definitely so I feel at some point there were, there were trams running. It could have just been carting fruits and vegetables around, but it feels as if it was a little bit more than that. I see people on it, but it, um, it's not something for the upper classes, it was something for the lower classes. And I'm going to go back again to the, the ventilation. Okay, I mean, I don't know, maybe the guy that I have here was installing the ventilation for the place or was in charge of it. There was something where, again, I was saying it got very hot, people had trouble breathing, and I feel like I want to cough, and I feel like I continually want to cough. So there was something that was going on here where 
the ventilation wasn't right. And then I was seeing sort of like limestone and lime or, you know, maybe lime around the, the copper pipes because I kept getting the pipes, but there was something about the conditions in the, it's the physical atmosphere that's a little bit of a problem. And I feel that people had to be tested. So I don't know, it's possible, and I can't commit to this, but it's possible maybe there was some tuberculosis or some other sort of thing that was going on with the, the people that worked here. That might help with the timing. Is there anything else like tuberculosis outbreak or something? Um, I think I want to walk down a little bit more. So again, there's the contrast to there's a contrast with the there's a contrast with the people that worked here and the owner. There's a contrast because the feeling that the feeling of upstairs is much different than downstairs. And so as I was walking down here, I was seeing a man who was playing a horned instrument, and I was feeling that that was from upstairs, and he was nicely dressed. So I feel like there were there was different things going on up, upstairs than down here. And again, I'm going to go back to say that at a certain point, there feels like there was a little bit of a social aspect upstairs. And again, it could have been parties and other things that went on with the, the owner of the building where he brought his clients and they'd have a little party. Maybe they'd have jazz or one of them would come and play instruments and things like that. So it was a little bit of a, a, different, a different, different thing. That's what I'm feeling. I'll turn more in tune with the downstairs than the upstairs, I feel. I keep getting the name Mary as well, so I don't know um, if this lady was something to do with the owner, maybe a wife or daughter, but I keep getting the name Mary. Um, she feels as if she's of higher standing than the people who are down here, and it feels as if she came down from time to time to see how people were doing. I got the feeling of a very kind-hearted person, a very warm individual. I feel she may have been the owner's wife or um, feels like a wife. I'm getting a feeling of somebody older rather than the daughter. Yes, I think it's a wife. getting a man and he's dressed in so again we're going to go to um, he's dressed in he's dressed in rather high boots so I'm getting high boots and I'm getting something that's like um, that he would wear over his suit or whatever but it's more like um, an overall not an overall it's like a uh, what do you do let's see like an apron an apron and high boots so again, I feel like it was dirty work to get, so he wouldn't get dirty or, or wet. I don't know what he's like waiting in, but I feel like it's, it's high boots. So it's not, the guys upstairs, they were in regular clothes. It's not work, it is workman's clothes, but it's not dry workman's clothes. It's, 
It's more like wet, dirty workman's clothes. There's something kneeling down here, so that may be the person that you're seeing. I'm seeing somebody kneeling and fiddling around here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the name Walter as well. Which is uh, I don't know, such a common American name. There's definitely a European feeling here, something very Germanic. Mm -hmm. I feel that the, the area was populated by um, a lot of um, immigrant workers or Germ Germans or feels German, not sort of Italian or anything like that. It may have been an area that was populated by a lot of uh, immigrants, G Germans or um, Bavarians. And there's a lot of that feel about it. I'm hearing somebody playing an accordion. So there's that accordion feel. And that's coming from upstairs, that's not down here. It's the sound wafting down the stairs. I keep seeing, oh, I was seeing the car, now I'm seeing a truck. I definitely feel that at least up, up there, there was definitely vehicles that were driven literally inside. That's what I'm feeling. I keep hearing the boats from the distance, the, the horn from the boat. I believe boats pass through here, close by. Gets, there's a kind of a dockyard feel that it's not a dockyard. But I'm hearing boats. Um, I'm going to go back to the, the owners who had money. They had a, before it was fashionable to have a telephone, they had a telephone here and that was a big deal. And so what I'm seeing is the, the old fashioned telephones. They had one of those old fashioned telephones here. And I'm also seeing now what they're showing me again is things being made here that are very hot. So I feel like there might have been also a little bit of like metal, type of metal work that they would do, use to fit parts and they would heat it up and cool it. Because I'm seeing one of those old, old things that they would have the metal parts on and they would, it would get them very hot and then they would cool them in the water. That's what I'm seeing. It got, I, f I feel when these people were working down here at night, it got very cold and very damp. And I'm hearing men coughing. There's a real feeling of, um, of, you know, real problems with the chest or throat area. So um, a lot of dampness around for those people. Not healthy at all. Kind of smell the soil. And I just heard a name, and the name that I heard was something sim. Charles is a first name. The last name is something similar to, and it's not exactly it. It could be Dade or something with a D, something duh or whatever. That's what I heard. I just got the year 1912, so that feels 
feels um, it was a very important uh, time period. I think I'd like to move back out of here, Nisha. Are you ready? I think there's you one, one more room, right? Okay. Thank you. I get a very religious feel in here for some reason. I don't believe there was a church or anything here, but it just I'm feeling very solemn and very religious. Um, so maybe at some point this was part of um, was used as a place where people would pray or come to worship or that kind of thing. Maybe men would just gather in the room. I feel that men would gather in a room and I was seeing a dartboard, so I feel like they played darts down here. There's a feeling that there was a cross or crucifix of some kind in here. It feels like it was a very religious part of this room was used to pray or, or have some kind of um, primitive services. I believe that's right over here. behind me, far, far back, I can hear in the distance the sound of people playing, um, looks like soccer, feels like soccer, They're just kicking a ball around, but it's not around here, this was the religious part, it feels like it's coming from back there, so I'm hearing men kicking a ball around. Okay, I feel more modernly, more like closer up to the present, I feel like somebody stored stuff from their house in here, like personal stuff from their house. More modern. I'd like to come down here if I can. Going back to um, going back to them, them working with solvents. Okay, I also feel like they they did a lot of work with wax, and I'm also feeling like they polished a lot of things too. So I'm almost feeling like there were certain things that were also smaller objects that they polished. So it's almost like it may not have been silver, but it's almost like I'm feeling like some of it, not the whole thing, they used to polish silver. I just feel like some of the stuff needs to be polished, and I feel like they did some polishing. 
and waxing to get it to the right state. There's a very lonely, solitary feel around here. <clears throat> it almost feels as if people were separated and segregated and thrown in here. For some reason, it's like a segregation area. I just, I just see with regard to here that there were all sorts of tools that hung up, were hung on the wall. Lots of tools and then lots of like ropes and just different things that were all like hung up there. Oh, something else. What does that remind me of? You know, Mary and I am seeing crosses now, but I'm almost seeing like crosses and it'll, I'm almost seeing also something. Um, this might be more uh, today also, but what I'm seeing is like a cross in a design in like leather. So to me, it reminds me of Italian leather. So I also don't know if maybe there was some Italian leather goods at some point that were stored in here or the owner was Italian, but I'm seeing like Italian leather goods. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing a burgundy cloth, like an altar cloth. Um, I feel there was some kind of makeshift religious thing here at some point. This feels much more modern. I just feel this is just to, for me. Is this side here is just taken away from everything else? I feel that this is kind. The energy here is much brighter. So it's almost as if some work's been done on this area, but I don't think so. It just feels like a brighter energy. I will. I was just kind of, uh, I was seeing an oil tank. Did you guys move an oil, did they move an oil tank? Because I was feeling there was an oil tank that was around here that might have been moved. much more female energy in this area. Actually, I'm getting a headache in this room. Maybe it's all done to death, but I don't know if something's going on here. I feel there was asbestos in here. Or something that would, it's either asbestos or in insulation. Again, I'm going back to like, not upstairs, but it's a different type of cottony substance. This to me is more like asbestos. That's what I feel, that there was some sort of asbestos in there. You said banging on pipes, and then when I hear it, I hear taps. So that would, I think that's right. It's like little taps you banging know? on pipes. Yeah. It's like metal against metal. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel that it's not too 
uh, alert people, it's, it's because they're working on that. Um, and I'm seeing um, something looks a little bit like a blowtorch, but I don't feel it's it is that, but it looks like something, like a welding low torch almost. Mm -hmm. Something a bit cruder than a, a modern one though. They also stored the office desks down here, even though there's a desk here, they stored some furniture down here too, like office desks, that's what I'm seeing, there's like an office desk, and there might, if it wasn't stored, there might have even been like a little office here, which would be like, you know, maybe to oversee the workers, but there's like a, there's like a definitely like a desk here, in this area. The, 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 um, the owner of the building during that earlier time period not only owned this place but owned some other places so I feel like his business expanded and I feel like he did the planning for his next business in here. I'm hearing horses hooves click clock click clock outside. I'm going to um, speak again. So, as Marion was seeing produce, right, I'm not seeing produce down here, but I feel like there was also alcohol kept down here, and I feel like it was in, like, um, barrels, so it could be, like, a beer barrel or something like that. I feel like there was some sort of alcohol that was down here. As you said that, I can smell vinegar. There may, there may be some pickling... Uh, substance is used as well. There's a lot of prickly energy here. Mm -hmm. I can taste pickled onions as well, so it may have been pickled pickled for onions and Vegetables. I'm smelling beets and
I was seeing pumping. So I was seeing like a white hose and pumping. I don't know if there might have been a small fire down here, but I feel like there was some sort of pumping that went on. Seeing or feeling horses being shooed, we shoe in horses. Okay. So there's some metal work of some kind. definitely feel there are spirits of some people still left here, that the things, one or two things happen. The kind of things where you know you switch the light off and it comes back on or, you know, you could have sworn you've done something and it hasn't happened. So I do feel there are spirits of some people. Like little things, like hearing sounds. You may hear sounds when you're working here on your own or sounds coming from here when you're upstairs. That's what I'm feeling. There's some one or two spirits that haven't uh, crossed over properly. It's a mischievous feel. It doesn't feel like it's a harmful energy. But there is a feeling of despair down here that, that I feel. Um, a lot of male energy and a lot of despair. So some of these, um, these male workers, I believe, think that they are still alive for all intents and purposes. Um, so you're going to get sounds and things, banging noises and things that you're not, um, you, you, you can't uh, figure out the source. Um, the other thing that I was seeing was there was a connection with this place to the southwest. So one of the one of the owners of the building had a connection to the southwest. So I don't know if the company went out to the southwest or the owner had a connection, but I was seeing the southwest in connection to here. Hearing loud rumbling noises, and there's there's some noise. Uh, these are the kind of noises that are coming when you know you're upstairs minding your own business, and I'm hearing this like crashing loud noise. Somebody wants you to know that they're here.
was thinking of cat meowing, so I think one of the others had a cat. And they were showing me that certain areas were sectioned off um, with heavy curtains. Not necessarily down here, but this is heavy curtains. I've seen some of the some of the areas were partitioned with heavy curtains. Here is somebody talking about all the, the the dampness and the coughing and the chest thing. I feel there was um, something called consumption, and I don't know what that is, but um, you know, obviously I've heard of it. But it feels like it was around that that time. It was in the early 1900s, 1910, 1912. But I'm feeling that like there were a lot of problems with co people coughing. A lot of dust. Somebody's showing me a lot of dust in their lungs. I'm getting a male energy. I don't want to start coughing because there's dust in my throat. Now I'm seeing pink like Marion. So people did some, uh, they did some stuff yeah. down here. Yeah. Some, some stuff you can smell the vinegar back up there. Oh, I want to start coughing. <coughs> It's getting a little uncomfortable for me. Just gonna take one one more back and forth.
So I don't know if at one point there were either a lot of games stored or the place also manufactured games because I was seeing just several different types of games here and they, they were more modern. So I didn't know if that was like used for storage of games or they actually manufactured games, but I'm seeing just all these different types of games here too. I'm smelling incense. Um, smells like the kind of incense smell you would get in a church, like so it's um, frankincense or something along those lines. I think it's coming back from there, but the smell is quite pungent. I'm smelling it here, so I think this leads around somewhere to where I felt the religious area was, but the smell is strong. Now that I've turned back, um, I can smell it before I couldn't. Also when I was in the other area, I was seeing wood pieces that were sort of splintered. So I also feel that there were these big splintered wood pieces here. So I'm seeing that, big splintered wood pieces. If I can just tag on to that, it smells to me a little bit like firewood. stepping back there. This could be metaphoric, but I was also seeing uh, something for safety. So I feel like there was some safety equipment or safety issues that were here. I was feeling a headache in there. I'm feeling a headache in here. I was seeing the safety issue. Something at some point might have like fallen down and somebody might have been hit on the head. So I feel like there might have been some sort of collapse and a hit. And so I was seeing things like this. This is what I was seeing um, as part of like, with the oil and that upstairs, I was seeing things like that. It was a little bit looser and fresher, but I was seeing things like that. So whether they're um, crouching to uh, squeeze between things or um, there's definitely a smell of oil and um, solvents and things here. But these men are squeezing. It seems like there are a lot of things in there squeezing and pushing and trying to get between things. Which means that the crouch 
watching is, um, is an issue for these men. Definitely getting the underground tunnel feeling again, so I feel that's something that needs to be explored. Um, it doesn't really fit, but I'll say it anyway. Um, when we were going around the other, other side, I was saying that I thought that there was uh, barrels of alcohol Right? And it may not be through the whole time period, but I was also seeing barrels stacked up over there in the back. So again, I thought it was alcohol over there. I don't necessarily know that this is alcohol here, but I'm definitely seeing wooden barrels stacked over there. some strange reason, although I'm not on a ship. Okay. So, let's see. They might have done something with, there might have been, there might have been like an oar or something. There might have been an oar around here. Right. Or someone had an oar or something that looked like an oar. I just feel like I'm in confined space and I'm in a ship's bow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm hearing someone. This guy is saying schedule, so they had a very tight schedule that they needed to follow because he's saying schedule. Everything has to be on schedule. There's a doorway here at some point. I see no signs of it. I don't know. But, oh, maybe that. I feel there was a doorway over here somewhere at some point in this area. Feeling people running up and down here. Lots of activity up and down here, running. There's a definite feel of spirit down this this um, long. I also feel there's a name Brown. So we check the name last name Brown. It's funny because I was just going to say I'm getting the name James. Can't put James and Brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
this feels to me like an area where somebody came to play or was playing hide and seek or something along those lines. Feeling sort of like children, maybe it's the owner's children coming down here and hiding behind the stairs. It feels like there's a young girl and there's a, a boy who's a few years older than her. something that's like a conveyor belt so I feel like at some point there was something that was a pieces pieces that they made now I'm seeing a block so yes I agree there was a child that came down here to play once in a while in the history of the place And more modernly, I'm seeing a vacuum cleaner. So again, I don't know with regard to storage, because she, 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 they storage the games and all that, but I'm also seeing a vacuum cleaner, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and wonder if at some point, people are either selling or making vacuum cleaners in here. Definitely hearing um, accents. They're definitely not American accents. There's definitely a European or a European feel. Don't know where they come, where they're from, but uh, just there's there's heavy accents. It's an immigrant population, definitely. And at one time, the, this was broken into. And I'm seeing like the lights from the siren. So one time the place was broken into and they're showing me that. <laughs> definitely an upstairs downstairs feel because the energy is just much more intense and desperate downstairs than it is upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking about the shelvings before, right, which is all over here, but they definitely here also stored things and they were kept in place and they had to make sure it wasn't too weighted or it would collapse down. Collapse it. Collapse it. Um. I'd like to go outside if there were 
sure, it's sure. finished. that the connection between here is over in that direction in some way. So I don't know whether we're north, east, south or west, but or where the bridge is, but I just want to go there's there's a connection between here and there. There's a lot of trips backwards and forwards. Actually I guess that's where the bridge is towards there. So that I think is a connection. There's a lot of trips backwards and forwards between the two between the two areas. 